Hey guys, so I'm doing this real quick video because honestly I was too excited not to put it out. I had to do something and I couldn't wait for do like a full like breakdown, a full fledged breakdown. So I'm doing a real short one here. Well, I'm going to try and keep it short. This is one of the ultrasonic music boxes that ghost hunters use. Um, so this one has the two sensors here. It's got a transmitter and receiver and it's that's that's the way this model works because there there are other ones that do the transceiver version which is a transmitter and receiver in one unit that's why you only have one hole in the front of the other music boxes that are sold by ghost hunters um this one was built by tom flock for me so i could test it and play with it and it's interesting i had it set up all weekend and like different places in my house here and in the garage and i had it over in the office and it's been going off randomly at random times like depending on the scene at which it's it's calibrated to it sometimes it, it doesn't go off at all sometimes it goes off like every five or ten seconds sometimes it was going off like every 20 or 30 seconds or something like that um, even when I had it here uh, sitting here facing like my living room area um, because there's like two sofas there's shelves and stuff like that so I think the uneven surface kind of messed it up I'm not really sure I'm speculating but it would go off like every minute or so uh, but then I realized something and uh and, and I put a video on my members only section of YouTube because uh, I was just so excited and it, it was the first video I had where I discovered this so I put it on there and shared it with the, the members um, but I, I was walking by this when it was on and it it, it went off and then when I walked by again later, it went off again. So I wasn't in the beam. I wasn't like actually, because it was facing that way and I was walking back here. So there should be no reason it, it went off because of me, um, because it, it doesn't work on any kind of uh, uh, visual cues, um, no, no visible light. It doesn't work on that. It doesn't work on infrared. It works on sound. So the, the only thing that was different was my keys. So these are my keys. I use their house keys, car keys, and various other like office keys and stuff like that. But I usually wear them on my belt loop here as I walk by. Uh, I always have them. That's how my wife finds me in department stores and stuff because she hears the uh, the keys rattling. And that was the only thing that was different. So I was like, oh, well, let me let me try this. And I took it off and I shook them, and I was getting this thing to go off. And uh, not only getting it to go off. But I wasn't even in the path of the beam. I was behind it. All right. So we have a full view here. You should be able to see into my kitchen here and a little bit on this side, I hope, because I have the wide view on. So here's the front. Here's the two sensors. I'm going to point it off the table so it doesn't read the table at all. But I'm going to point it off the table. It's pointing that way. And I'm going to turn it on. You're going to see a, a white light right here uh, start blinking. And then it'll stop. And that means it's calibrated because it... I think the process is that it sends out eight pulses, um, eight ultrasonic pulses in order to gauge, okay, where things are, is there any difference between those eight pulses? No, okay, we're calibrated, we know where something is. We know how far things are away, how far things are away from the sensor, and that's it. And that's what it bases all the rest of the signals that it puts out as it stays on, that's what it bases it on. So if there's any difference, like somebody comes in front of it, hits the signal, the signal comes back to it and says, hey, something's much closer, let's set the alarm off. And, or in this case, it's a music box. So I'm gonna turn it on. There's the white light. So it's calibrated. I'm gonna put my hand in front of it. There you go. So it's going off. It's working the way it should. But watch this. So I'm standing behind it. You know, there's no, I'm not making it go off. Nothing, 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 okay? I'm gonna pick my keys up. <laughs> Look, again, I'm behind it. This is amazing to me. And it's not just my keys, like I took out some old keys. And I was doing it with that. Like what's, what? Only thing I can, I can think of right now, like this is my train of thought here that I'm sharing with you guys, that the, the sound, for some reason these keys, 
together, um, they create not only sounds that we can hear, but there is some ultrasonic sounds. There's some sound waves that are going up into the like 40,000 uh, or 40 kilohertz, so 40,000 hertz, yes, um, because that's, that's the signal that this puts out and receives. Um, the other ones, the transceiver ones, that the, are both the transmitter and receiver in one, in one sensor that goes in front, I think those work primarily at 42 kilohertz. So I'm guessing these keys somehow put out an ultrasonic uh, sound, and of course we wouldn't hear it, but it's putting it out into the space, and it's hitting the solid objects just like any sound would, and it's bouncing back and hitting the sensor because... Once you send a sound out, it's not like pinpoint. It doesn't go to one place. Um, it's, it goes out in all directions. Uh, so it's bouncing off of the solid objects, going back into all directions. One of the directions, one of the directions is the sensor receiver. So it's picking it up. That's, that opens up the door to, as far as I know, anything metallic could possibly make sounds. So if you have like an old jail or prison, hospital, um, any kind of building that has metal frames or doors or hinges or stuff like that could possibly put this out. So this is something, this is amazing to me because it's, it's like, we, now we have to think about this. We have to think about what possibly could cause that. Um, and all of these random, uh, random times that music boxes like this go off, it could be very well the people that are there. If, especially the gear. If they're wearing gear that has metal on it and it's it bangs into each other, they might be putting out uh, an ultrasonic sound themselves and causing it as they stand there behind it like, oh my God, you know what's going on? And it goes off. Wow, this is amazing. So anyway, I wanted to share that with everyone. I'm going to try and do a full breakdown. I'm going to talk to, I'm going to reach out to somebody that knows how these things work. Um, and then maybe, maybe I got, I got to find someone that can test for those kind of sounds. Like I need, I need some kind of meter. I don't even know what I'm looking for yet, but I need a meter that will read up to 42 or, or 45, preferably, um, kilohertz so that I can see if that's what this is doing, these keys, and if it is, then can I, can I get a portable version of that meter so that I can take it with us and, and test things? Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.